Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Leon County Today with Sheriff Walt McNeil. I'm Sean Denight and Sheriff, I'm really excited about today's show. We're going to introduce our viewers out there to our newest assistant sheriff. Not just newest assistant sheriff, but a history making one. Oh, of that. absolutely. A person who spent uh, some 20 something years at the Leon, sorry, at the Tallahassee Police Department mm -hmm. before she came to Leon County Sheriff's Office and uh, has uh, gone on to work in the uh, uh, Lake City Police Department for 12 years. Mm -hmm. There's the police chief. Uh, right. Also um, uh, run the administration uh, division of the uh, IACP where mm -hmm. uh, she's uh, one of the chairpersons that sits on one of those councils and was most recently in the running for U.S. Marshal wow. uh, for our district, uh, the Northern District of Florida, which tells uh, the citizens out there that we have a jewel who's joining our team and we're just excited to have her on board and we know she's going to do some great things. Uh, yeah. She's got some other partners too. I got to mention uh, uh, Steve Harrelson and Ron Cave who are the other assistant yes. sheriffs. And that trio, my three musketeers, if you will, <laughs> uh, are going to do some great things in this community. Uh, we are focused on trying to drive our crime rate down. And that's quite honestly part of the reason we brought her on board. Mm -hmm. uh, her experience, she did some things in Lake City, particularly trying to deal with uh, uh, violence. And uh, uh, she, she's got some undercover things going there in Lake City. <laughs> we wanted to see if we can take advantage of that when she gets here as well. Absolutely. So I'm excited about bringing her on board and uh, I know our staff is as well. Yeah, we're talking about Dr. Argatha Gilmore. And one of the things I really love is that she's got deep roots here in our community, and we're hopefully going to be able to leverage some of those relationships. But you had an opportunity to work with her at the Tallahassee Police Department. So what did you see in her then that made you think when this position came available, I need to give her a call? Well, absolutely. First and foremost, she's a consummate professional. She absolutely loves law enforcement. She's committed to it and she's committed to this community. I don't think she'd been in Lake City had she had the opportunity to become the police chief here in Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. And I knew that that was one of the goals that she has for herself is to get back to this community because she loves it. Mm -hmm. She's never left her home here. She had a home in Lake City, but she also lived here. And just the opportunity to get back home yeah. uh, and make an impact where you live is something we all aspire to do. And now she's got that opportunity here in Tallahassee Leon County. So from your perspective, as far as what you want her to accomplish on a large scale, how can you sum that up in, in a sentence or two? Well, we've, uh, she's over uh, law enforcement operations and uh, we've got to make sure that all of our operational efforts are focused on everything we can to, to uh, complement our 21st century policing model, mm -hmm. which is being close to the community. She is a community driver. She's out there in the community. Uh, folks, a lot of people in Tallahassee, Leon County already know who she is, and she's going to bridge that gap for us, I, I believe, in terms of getting our, our deputies closer to the community and the community closer to the Leon County Sheriff's Office. Not to say that we have any great divide now, right. but she's going to work on trying to bridge those gaps and bring us closer. And at the same time, uh, she has a, uh, what I call for most of us in law enforcement, this is her ministry which means that uh, she's going to have compassion for not only our, our staff, but compassion for the citizens out there and try to drive this crime rate down. And that's the biggest thing that I'm counting on her to do is to assist us with our efforts to drive crime down here in Leon County. Absolutely. Well, as you mentioned, she's got an incredible resume. And so we're going to get to hear from Dr. Gilmore herself coming up in just a few minutes. So be sure to stick around. We'll introduce you to her. But first, let's check in with Sergeant McMillan for our Crime Tip Tuesday. Hello everyone, this is Sergeant Shade McMillan with the Leon County Sheriff's Office and here's today's Crime Tip Tuesday. Windows are one of the main ways a burglar might access a home. Windows are easy entry points because they are often left open or unlocked. Here are some safety reminders when it comes to windows on your home. Close and secure all windows at night and when you are not home. Screens and storm windows can offer added protection. Make sure all locks on your windows work properly, if not, replace them. Use a secondary blocking device, insert a pin or nail above a window or on a track to limit the window from being lifted. Adhere decals or stickers announcing an alarm system or a neighborhood watch program on main windows. Stay safe out there. Joining me now is LCSO's new Assistant Sheriff for Law Enforcement Operations, Dr. Agatha Gilmore. Dr. Gilmore, welcome home to Tallahassee. For those of who might not know exactly uh, what you do. Talk about uh, what you do for our Sonillion County Sheriff's Office. Well, first of all, Sheriff, I'd like to say thank you for allowing me this opportunity to come and serve the citizens of Leon County and to take on such an awesome responsibility. And that, uh, that is three 
of the departments that you have, that we have at the Leon Sh County Sheriff's uh, Office, which is the Department of Uniform Patrol, uh, the Department of Special uh, Operations, Investigations, and also the Department of Youth Services. And so it's an honor to uh, serve in the capacity of ensuring the operations that are going forth in our community. What's been some of your, your observations as your uh, first uh, week or two here in the Leon County Sheriff's Office? outstanding world-class organization, a world-class agency. And the first thing um, from my observation are the people. I can see that the people, that the men and women of Leon County Sheriff's Office have bought into the All In initiative. Uh, they're all about serving the citizens of Leon County, uh, trying to make sure that we give the best police services uh, that's out there to leave the citizens as raving fans for uh, for our deputies, so I mean for our citizens. So that's my first observation that we're ready to uh, all hands on deck to make sure things are happening for our community. All right. Now, what are some of the uh, expectations uh, that that you have for your staff, and and uh, what do you see us going uh, in the next two months or so? Well, first of all, we've been using the term fire hose, even though we are. <laughs> Uh, law enforcement, but I begin to feel almost like a firefighter with the fire hose with so many things that are happening uh, in the department. So it's a quick a learning curve for me. Uh, but what we hope to achieve, and that is to maintain the vision that you have already put in place for our agency, and not only for our agency, but for our community. And that is our strategic plan. We've been working very hard to implement the pillars of 21st century policing that is embedded, embodied in our strategic plan. Also, we're looking at the homicide rates that are happening uh, in our community, the crime rates. And so we're full speed ahead to ensure that we are dedicated and committed to uh, reducing crime and looking at the symptoms and bringing everybody on board to make sure that is happening for our community. So we want to make sure that we have a safe place to live, work, and play. All right. Now, I said when uh, Ms. Knight was here a moment ago, I talked about the fact you're in Lake City and, and there are a number of things that you are doing there. Talk about uh, what you learned in Lake City that may be applicable for us here in Leon County. Well, I used to say that although Lake City is a small city, but it's a small city with big city issues. And uh, so there's nothing very too much unique from what I've encountered there as a police chief to what I'm bringing here to Leon County Sheriff's Office. And that is, we do have the violent crime issues there. And so we found out in Lake City that I see that it's already working here and that is getting the community involved. And how do we reach those symptoms and those uh, social issues that are causing these kinds of things to be happening in the community? So one of the things that uh, as a police chief that I did, and that is get out into the, into the community, bring the community on board, make them part of the stakeholders in achieving even the, the um, uh, goal and success that we want to make happen here in our city. And so that's what I'm bringing from there to here that you already have in place. I feel like I'm connecting with the dots already to make sure things are happening there, here. You also have responsibility for our uh, uh, youth services uh, area. In about a minute or so, talk to me about uh, what you plan to do and how we work in youth services. Well, today, it was a, uh, like we have the, the youth leadership team on campus right now our, at our agency, and that is getting involved, talking to them, leading by example, and uh, introducing them to role models and finding out what's on their mind and what's on their heart uh, to see how we can start at a very early stage of getting them involved in very community-oriented uh, things so they won't go into the, the life of crime. And uh, when we do that, we can go to the schools and to, and to the uh, residents and the communities to make that happen. Well, Assistant Sheriff, I, I, I am delighted that you're a part of our team and I'm expecting great things from you. I know your staff is as well. And I know there are a lot of people out there that, uh, from your church environment uh, that are so happy to see you back here in Tallahassee, Leon County. Uh, thanks, and we sure appreciate it. I'll be right back. Coming up, more with our new assistant sheriff, including what All In means to her. Stay tuned. We're back with LCSO's new assistant sheriff for law enforcement operations, Dr. Agatha Gilmore. Agatha, you are the first female in our agency's history to climb to this rank. What has the journey to being assistant sheriff uh, been like? Well, Sheriff, actually, we don't have all day and all night to talk about this journey. 
Uh, but I would tell you that uh, I stand on the shoulders of so many partner women who've gone before me, who have reached across, reached behind, to pull me to where I am today. And so I certainly would be remiss if it, I did not give a shout out to the women who have gone before to pave the way. And uh, so it has been both trials and triumphs. And, uh, and that's the best two words that I can use, uh, learning how to take the lemon to make the lemonade, learning how to use the struggles to be uh, stepping stones, learning to take the stones and make them foundations for me to uh, propel, because if we don't, then we'll be stagnant. I know that I have been in a male-dominated profession for over 30-something years, but it did not stop my perseverance. It did not stop my tenacity uh, to go where I wanted to go. And I remember back in Tallahassee, in the police department, I wrote down before I left there, I wanted to be a police chief. And thank you so much for being an inspiration for me and for me to learn how to, as a matter of fact, if you recall, I even said, teach me how to do this. And I appreciate the teaching, the lessons learned. Um, and so for that, I took that and used all of what I, who I am to continue to climb. And that is to be the first female uh, Leon County Sheriff's Office Assistant Sheriff, and I wear that very proudly. Well, great, great. Now, you, you talked about tenacity. Uh, what are some of the things from your tenacity you hope to accomplish uh, as our Assistant Sheriff? I know that the community, and, I, and I, I'm so glad that the community is listening to us today, and they're really concerned about our crime, the violence in, in, uh, that's happening in Leon County. And so first and foremost, uh, we're going to do everything within our power to ensure that reduction of crime happen. We also will continue to make sure that the bridging of the gap between law enforcement and uh, our community is there. Although there are unfavorable views of law enforcement, it is my goal and my desire to make sure that everyone would know that we're here to help and to make a difference in our community. And so to unfold and to make sure that our strategic plan happens and that we're doing everything within our power to ensure that we have a safe community. Well, I, I want to echo that uh, and that's why we brought you on. We know you're going to do some great things and uh, going to be a great leader for our sheriff's office. Now, you know we have an affirmation. That affirmation is called All In. Uh, exactly what does uh, that affirmation mean to you? Well, two things, if I can say that, Sheriff, I can, I want to use it from a law enforcement perspective and also from a personal. So let me please start with the personal all in, and that is being fully committed, fully dedicated with all of my resources, all the who I am and all that I bring to the table. And that is giving everything I've got to make sure uh, that we're doing what it takes to make a difference in our community. The All In Initiative, and I really like this, is that we can't do it by ourselves. We cannot solve crimes. We cannot reduce crimes by ourselves. So All In to me means to me that we do look at our faith community. And I tell you, I'm always unapologetic about my faith. And not only that, the business community, not only that, the schools, everybody has got to put their hand to the plow to make sure that we succeed in our community. Law enforcement, law enforcement, cannot do it by them by ourselves so we need everybody to make this happen all in is what fully committed fully dedicated and when we end our meetings all in I am all in sheriff all right well no question about that she's all in <laughs> <coughs> tell me this uh, what part of your role uh, is the most fulfilling for you in about a minute in a minute coming back home working with the visionary leader working with an exciting team. We have a, 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 an executive team that is second to none, men and women who are committed in Leon County Sheriff's Office. That is fulfilling to me. And not only that, coming to a community that's gonna work with us to make things happen. Oh yeah, we're gonna rock, Sheriff. And that, that is fulfilling to see things happen. All right, well, thank you. All in indeed. All in. Thank you, uh, Assistant Sheriff Gilmore. So glad to have you back on board with Leon County Sheriff's Office and back in Leon County. Coming up, the holiday season isn't always merry for everyone. How LCSO's Project 413 is offering help. Stay tuned. Project 413 is a peer support team. Everybody that serves on the team has been there, done that experience with 
the agency members that they are supporting. So there's something really unique and powerful about having a conversation with somebody that, that yes, I have that shared experience and you know I've been there and it was really hard and this is how I got through it and you're gonna make it through too. What we're doing is just taking that concept of these people that you have a unique shared experience with are best suited to help support you and get you through that. Um, so that's really the, the basis of what um, peer support and, and Project 413 is built on. It's a better understanding coming from another law enforcement officer or a firefighter hears from another firefighter and peer support it, it, or any first responder. It, it makes a difference talking to somebody or listening to somebody that has experienced what you may experience or what you're going through yourself. People are able to confide in you, believe in you, trust in you, and you're able to uh, provide them with the tools they need to um, get themselves out of a situation sometimes that they perpetuate, sometimes that are uh, brought upon them. And it's, it's such an a asset nowadays that um, law enforcement 30 years ago was this this was not something that was uh, entertained it was not something that was encouraged it was more uh, so you know fix it yourself or uh, however whatever means that was now it's a much better much uh, more controlled environment and easy to uh, to relate to one another when I started it was suck it up or find another job type atmosphere it, feelings weren't talked about and you just learn to deal with it and that's what we're trying to change letting them know that's not an avenue they have to take that it is okay to talk about it and it actually helps to talk about it because when i tell you a situation i was in or something that occurred in my life in this career i'm still talking about it it it's still being shared and if we can help somebody that's just starting halfway through their career or even at the end of their career, uh, it's a benefit to everybody, especially the ones that are coming into it to let them know that, hey, it's okay to talk about this stuff and we have a group that will keep it confidential and no matter what it is, uh, they could have an issue with their child to a death in the family. It's not isolated to one topic or just to the job and law enforcement aspect of it. You, you um, are under so much more stress that a lot of times people don't come forward with their problems because they're in fear of losing their only livelihood and their jobs and their families are so dependent on them that it, it becomes a huge roadblock and stumbling block to layman's, you know, if they are uh, Baker Acted or something happens, uh, firearms can be taken away. A firearm to us is a tool. It's something that most people are not accustomed to working with. Um, your average citizen may, you know, have a, a mental crisis and be Baker Acted or, or brought into a healthcare facility where they can go about their daily job the next day or so after they're, they're out of that. Um, incident. Us, we're, we're going to have to be reevaluated by um, psychiatrists and doctors and, and our own staff and everything else. Uh, so this is something that we're able to navigate around and do the peer-to-peer -peer that has got that level of protection that you can confide uh, with your own peers, someone that you trust, to say, hey, I'm not doing so well and I need some help and uh, this agency has shown already by example that they are here to aid us and help us because we are a family atmosphere and, and we thrive in that and we want to keep our family members safe. It's great that we're pushing this forward uh, to save lives because that's exactly what it's intended to do. It's really important to recognize the power of peer support. It's really important to know that it's okay um, to talk with these people that have experienced um, something very similar. I want it to become a culture change. I want it to become a way of life for our um, law enforcement officers and our corrections uh, officers to be able to um, just have that conversation and feel comfortable saying, if somebody's asking me if I'm okay, genuinely saying, no, I'm not, and knowing that that's okay and knowing that's safe. And so I'm really hopeful that with Project 413 kind of being 
um, you know, on the horizon of something really wonderful that's just going to be a shift in the way that we view um, the stressors and the challenges and the traumas that are associated with a career in this, in this field. Welcome back to Leanne County Today, Sheriff. We are in the thrones of, well, it's the holiday season, and it really is a happy time for so many people, but I think sometimes we forget that there are those people who are maybe missing a loved one or it triggers something, and this can be a tough time of year as well. This is absolutely a tough time for a lot of people for a lot of reasons. Obviously, it's the uh, most wonderful time of the year for mm -hmm. most of us, mm -hmm. but then there are so many people who are hurting in our communities uh, all across this country, and, and there are so many people who are going without. When you think about the... Uh, the 304 zip code and the issues there, yeah. uh, food deserts and all of that. And the fact that everybody's going about with merriment makes it even worse for some of the folks. They, yeah. they see it, it's so in their face, if you will. And that's why uh, what we're doing with our 413 initiative uh, as a mental health initiative for mm -hmm. folks in the community uh, that we focused on internally and externally to make sure that we can uh, keep ourselves safe mentally as well as physically. And uh, so we're wishing and hoping that folks out there will, uh, if they have some issues or problems uh, that they don't want to talk about. I know sometimes talking about mental health issues is mm -hmm. taboo, yeah. uh, but we're encouraging people, particularly during this, this holiday season, to seek help, get help if you need help, and, uh, and there are resources out there for you. Uh, certainly you can reach out to the Leon County Sheriff's Office. We, we're creating a mental health unit yes. uh, that we will have out in the road pretty soon. But uh, the most important thing is that uh, if you know family members out there hurting this, through this season, Please be there for them. Absolutely. Very, very important this time of year. And then having Assistant Sheriff Gilmore on the show and really talking about her vision as it relates to her new role. It really is exciting uh, to, to see her come on yeah, board. Yeah, I forgot about some of the things she talked about in terms of uh, some of the things we did at TPD. And, mm -hmm. and I can see that uh, she's going to flourish here. She's a person who's passionate. I'm sure that passion came out uh, during the uh, television broadcast. So we're excited about her being here as well. And uh, uh, I think her staff's going to love what we're doing. She's going to fit right into our plan. We've got a lot to do uh, in the next uh, year, 2020. Uh, 2022 is our year of service. Yes. And obviously she fits right into that, uh, that mantra we have of trying to serve the citizens of Leon County. I think we call that all in. All in. All in indeed. <laughs> all right, we thank you all for joining us today. We'll see you back here next week.